Good day, Crustacean Nation. So, Promenalot here with an exciting video today. Today we have a parcel to open. Uh, this is a very special package from a very special YouTuber. So yes, this package is from Shep's Aquatics uh, from his giveaway for 50 subscribers, uh, which is awesome. I love a good giveaway like that. I happen to be the winner. Um, it took me a little while to work out I was actually the winner because I wasn't around to watch the video. Um, I finally got around to it and I was like, oh, awesome. Uh, so I have one, a little plant, and he also said that he sent a few little extra things, so I'm very intrigued. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. So I just went ahead and cut into the bag, and of course there's a little styrofoam box inside, because uh, Shep likes to send his things very nicely packaged. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into that. So I do believe there was a note on the front of the box, but a bit of water must have got onto it, because as you can see, it's all... Uh, inked out and sort of spread. Uh, water and ink and paper do not go well together, so I'm sorry Shep, but I cannot read what is on your note. I'm sure it was something very kind and nice. Um, I did cut open the sides here, so we can see what's inside. Ooh, bags. So the prize that I won from Shep was a plant, and the plant was a blue strickia. And it should be in here. I'm also noticing something a little hairy in there as well. Um, if you don't know, Shep has done some pretty fun stuff with moss and made like a little log water fountain. And he has thrown in a bit of moss um, from the top of his shed, I think it was. Uh, which I don't get a lot of good moss down here in South Australia. Um, don't get me wrong, there's definitely places with moss. It's just um, not in my area as it's a bit more arid. So there we are, look at all that moss. Um, so we're definitely going to have to get a nice little terrarium of some kind going, because that looks really cool. And here is the actual prize, the blue strickia. Um, I've never kept it before and it looks really cool, it almost reminds me of a small gum tree, uh, which is really awesome. It's wrapped up nice and tight, which is really good. Um, by the way, this has been packaged really well by Shep. Um, you know, you have the foam container, uh, the little plastic tub, and then, you know, your bag for the moss and then the wrapped up in paper uh, blue strip here, which is really, really cool. I've got to work out how to open it. And there it is. Lovely little plant. Um, so this was grown in Shep's tanks and stuff like that. Like, he had it for a while. Um, it does seem to be... It's pretty, like, nice and wet, but obviously it would be much happier in water. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into one of my tanks. Um, I do have plans to use it into, in an actual aquascape coming up or a different tank, so I'm going to keep it in probably just the guppy tank for a little bit um, and let it grow out a bit better and then also, you know, move it into a planted tank in the future. You can actually see a bit of growth or new growth down the bottom, which just shows that it's a nice healthy plant. Um, so big thank you to Shep from Shep's Aquatics. I'll definitely be leaving a link down below. Uh, go check him out. I think he's nearing 100 subscribers now, so who knows, he might do another giveaway. He might do another one at 150, he might do one at 200, um, but get around, you know, get a, get in a giveaway, watch the videos, um, definitely watch his videos on his little log water fountain tank, uh, he's coming along really nice with that and it's looking awesome, like I'm very impressed with it, uh, he definitely deserves a bunch more subs, so, you know, the Crustacean Nation, we're good at uh, raiding things, let's go ahead and sub bomb uh, Shep's Aquatics. So I was going to put it in my guppy tank but I don't have very deep substrate in there so I decided to put it into my shrimp tank. Um, don't mind the algae as always. The plant should be fine in there. Um, as you can see the crypt behind it has done very well despite the algae so I think it will do fine here for the moment. I do plan on moving it like I said into a plant and tank in the future and I thought I may as well give it a nice boost of uh, nutrients and stuff from the soil and uh, let it go well in here before I move it into the other tank. I think it's going to be a really cool plant to grow up, um, and it's looking pretty good in there. Just like I said, the algae makes it uh, blend in a little too much. So another massive thank you to Shep's Aquatics for the prize, and it's awesome that you're giving back to your community, um, even just at 50 subs, like giving, giving away a prize is uh, awesome, so I hope you do some more. Um, massive thank you for the moss as well, I know that wasn't a part of the prize, or it sort of is I guess, but you did plan on sending me some, and um, I guess you did two birds, one stone with that. So I'm going to have to put this to good use. Um, it's a nice amount of moss, and it's a nice textured moss, so I'm going to have to find a use for that. Um, I do have some plans for some different tanks, and yeah, thank you very much. So go over there, Crustacean Nation, subscribe to Shep, uh, like his videos, watch his stuff. He's got some awesome videos out there, 
and uh, he's he's an upcoming YouTuber or fish tuber, and I think you'll uh, all like him very much. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.